Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Shirk with the UCLA Department of Urology. The kidney is one of our body's most incredible and incredibly important organs. While you go about your day, your kidneys are hard at work, getting rid of waste and making sure everything is in balance in your body. In this video, you will learn about the kidney and about kidney cancer, its signs and symptoms, the different types of cancers, risk factors, and the treatment options currently available. Most people have two kidneys, and their main function is to produce urine. By adjusting the composition of the urine, the kidney regulates the body's electrolytes, fluid balance, acid-base balance, and eliminates waste products. When the kidneys are damaged or a significant portion is removed, their normal processes may be impaired. In severe cases, dialysis may be required. According to the American Cancer Society, there are about 63,000 new cases of kidney cancer each year in the United States, and about 14,000 deaths. As with all cancers, early diagnosis dramatically improves the chance for survival. Although the prognosis is relatively poor for kidney cancer that is advanced or metastasized, promising new treatments are improving the outlook for patients. Unfortunately, Kidney cancer rarely shows visible signs or symptoms in its early stages. In the later stages, the most common sign is blood in the urine. Other symptoms may include flank pain, pain on one side of the body between the upper abdomen and the back, abdominal mass, a mass in the area of kidneys discovered during an examination, anemia, a condition in which the number of red blood cells is below normal, fever not due to cold or flu, unexplained and often rapid weight loss, and fatigue and general feeling of poor health. When referring to the kidney, you'll often hear doctors and other health providers use the term renal, which is a word referring to the kidney. Also, a physician who specializes in kidney diseases is called a nephrologist, and a surgeon specializing in kidney cancer is a urologist. Renal cell carcinoma, or RCC, is the most common type of kidney cancer, accounting for approximately 90% of all malignant kidney tumors. In RCC, cancerous cells develop in the lining of the kidney tubules and grow as a single mass into a tumor. Other kidney tumors are not cancerous and only need treatment in certain cases. Although we do not know all the causes of kidney cancer, the following factors may increase the risk of developing this disease. Most kidney cancers occur in people over 45 years of age, with the highest incidences between the age of 55 and 84. For unknown reasons, men are twice as likely to be diagnosed with kidney cancer than women, and African-American men have a slightly higher risk than Caucasian men. Your risk also increases if you are a smoker, obese, or have high blood pressure. The same is true with people who receive long-term dialysis or who have received kidney transplants and are on immunosuppressant drugs. In some cases, exposure to radiation may increase your risk. In other cases, hereditary diseases, such as tuberous sclerosis and von Hippel-Lindau disease, also make you more susceptible. In recent years, there has been tremendous progress in the understanding and treatment of kidney cancers. And new information is constantly emerging that will ultimately benefit patients. Here at UCLA, you have the added benefit of having access to some of the brightest minds in the field, combined with the latest research, technology, and medical knowledge. And at UCLA, we personalize care for each patient using many treatment approaches at our disposal. The extensive surgical expertise of UCLA's urologists can in many cases preserve kidney function, even in the most difficult cases. We employ kidney sparing surgery called a partial nephrectomy that removes only the part of the kidney that contains the tumor. Where appropriate, minimally invasive robotic technology, such as the da Vinci robot, may be used. Because a long incision is not necessary, there is much less blood loss, and patients generally experience less post-operative pain and faster recovery, often returning home more quickly and resuming most activities within a few weeks. In some situations, the entire kidney needs to be removed. 
In cases of radical nephrectomy, the UCLA team of urologic and medical oncologists may combine surgical methods with other treatment modalities, such as immunotherapy or targeted agents to improve the long-term prognosis of our patients. For some tumors that are small and located at the outer edge of the kidney, it may be possible to kill the tumor without surgery in a relatively new procedure known as tumor ablation. This includes cryotherapy, or freezing the tumor to kill the cancer cells while preserving the surrounding normal kidney, and radiofrequency ablation, using high energy radio waves to target the tumor, which also preserves the normal tissue. And finally, some cancer cases may not require immediate treatment. A dramatic rise in the use of CT scans and MRIs over the last 20 years has resulted in an incidental diagnosis of small renal masses. Small renal masses tend to be benign, grow very slowly, and have low potential to spread to other organs over the short term. As a result, patients diagnosed with small renal masses may decide to take a wait and see approach, actively monitoring the tumors with their physician. The UCLA Active Surveillance Program for Small Renal Masses helps manage and actively follow up on patients with these small tumors. We provide a schedule of CT or MRI scans, baseline chest x-ray, tumor biopsies, as well as other imaging tests to monitor whether the lesion is growing. Such follow-up care is critical to the success of active surveillance. If the kidney mass should grow or change in character, then intervention may be required. While having kidney cancer is a serious health concern, you can take comfort in knowing there are many different treatment options, and new ones are always emerging. Thank you for taking the time to understand the disease better by watching this video, and thank you for choosing UCLA.